Now, you know, the Michigan Harness Horsemen's Association was founded in 1947. It has been founded to take care of the needs of harness horsemen, drivers, trainers, and owners. We had a chance to catch up with the new president of the MHHA in the backstretch wearing driving colors, and we wondered whether or not this was appropriate attire for the president of such a distinguished organization. I'm a very much a hands-on president. We train 10 to 15 horses in our stable. It's a family operation. Uh, we not only uh, have a training stable, we also have a breeding operation. And uh, it's very family oriented, so I think it's very fitting. What was the status of uh, the racing in Michigan before you became president? What do you hope to accomplish as the president? What's really happened in the last five years with the racing in Michigan was the simulcast bill in 1995. When it passed uh, two years before I became president, uh, that was a very, very important part of it. Michigan harness racing, not only harness racing, but thoroughbred racing, racing as a whole in Michigan. Now we've got to go to that next step. I mean, we compete with a gambling dollar every day, and now we've got to figure out a way to generate money, more money for purses, uh, not only for the parimutuel tracks, but yes, they're very, very important, but yet to still continue to race at the county fairs also. But that's a real, real big issue with it.